All right, guys, welcome back. We've got Type playing off against Zayu and Marlians vs Byzantines in the AoE2 Ragnarok 2022 Deathmatch Tournament. So, Marlians spawning with Double Scout. That's pretty cool. Built for Deathmatch, eh? Built for Deathmatch. Zayu scouting over the wrong side. So he's, he gets his initial scout pattern wrong. You can always tell actually because there's always a, like a triangle of gold around the player. Whereas, you know, there's sort of not enough gold here and there's too many relics for that to be the player spawn. So Zayu finding himself in a rough spot because Type is able to get into his base with uh, the double light cav and get one of his vills while his own Hussar a little bit late on the chase, he's mistimed which base to go for. Maybe it's deliberate, maybe it's just mind games, maybe it's Maybelline. A pair of camels coming in. They're going to be able to clean up these vills, I think, because all the halves too far down in the base. They will get cleaned up pretty quickly themselves, but in the meanwhile... Ooh, this is very interesting. A barracks wall off. Because, I mean, look at this tree wall. Who are you calling, bitch? But look at this tree wall. Followed up with a, a building wall. Are walls banned in this? I thought only bombard towers were banned. Or are walls banned too? I mean, if walls are banned too, man, that's awesome. Good job, guys. Deathmatch without walls. That's actually... That's, that's like... That's so man mode. I can't even begin to comprehend. That's fucking awesome, man. Just ban castles next. <laughs> Just imagine that. <laughs> You've got to use fucking guard towers everywhere. No bombard towers, no castles, no walls. Man mode deathmatch. Big halberdier here push here. Zayu having his trash be taken out by Type. But bearing in mind, Type's invested an awful lot in these camels and now they are a little bit low. There was a tiny bit of uh, friendly fire. Not a huge amount, but a tiny bit of friendly fire there. So a pretty similar comp here from Zayu here. But the meanwhile, this time around, he's added in a Bombard Cannon. Got a few more of his own camels. And he's not just going to sacrifice uh, Halbs. Oh, and this is great for him. He's going to be able to chip away at the Onigas. He slightly outranges the Onigas of type here. So Zayu going to be able to instantly put the pressure on and force a Cavalry Engagement. And this might not actually be worth it. I mean, that's only a handful of Bombards. And more of them are in production, so... Don't think all of them are going to go down. And in the meanwhile, Type is going to have to figure out that over on the other side of the map, it's not going to be easy for him to actually break through. In fact, the barracks wall's been broken. And in the meanwhile, Zayus figured out he can start expanding along this part of the map. In fact, he can possibly even pinch off that gold off Type in the, the long game. Because Type... In the meanwhile, I was trying to take this gold over here, which, incidentally, if he can do so, probably hurt Zayu a little bit. Zayu managing to clean out a couple of the buildings now. Or clear out the town centre and uh, force the eco back, but type responding in kind with his own bombard cannons. But you guys have to be careful with these with what they're attacking, like you always want them hitting either other bombard cannons or castles basically or yeah like groups of mangonels or like infantry or range that are pretty much stationary you don't really want them attacking like moving cavalry or some shit that's a recipe for disaster but Zayu streaming forward and he has shitloads of bombards now he's gonna be able to make 
quick work of these castles that are defending and type impressive early uh, monk usage but Zayu's warmed up to it and caught one of the monks in the meanwhile I think type might have only been able to get yeah only a pair of the relics Zayu hasn't grabbed any but in the meanwhile there is still four on the map that are quite easy for him to get to and right now the imperative for type is staying alive over worrying about the relics at this point this has been an impressive creep forward by Zayu here Mangan, the Siege Omega is having to pretty much camp under the town center in a spot where it's hard for the Bombards to actually really see them. The player to actually notice that they're there and to want to really engage around the far side of the building. Oh, but that is a scary number of Bombard cannons. Get your BBCs out of my base. Zayu's even got, oh sorry, Type's even got a villager stranded in the middle map here that Zayu's just outright ignoring. I suppose you could always put like palisade walls there or something. Or are they banned too? But yeah, the, the double relic income is no more. Oh, the overkill. <laughs> A couple of halves dying to danger close there. So the one downside of Bombard Cannons is they're a bit like Manganels, is that you never know when they're hitting a frontline v frontline encounter, who's really going to come off better. Usually you just sort of go, well, he's got the lower value or the less units there, so I, th I think it's bad for me. Or, you know, it's great for me because he's got the higher value and the bigger frontline, so I'm going to hit more of his shit. And by bigger I mean more units, because bigger units are actually worse to try and pick off. That castle falling in now type finds himself in a really dark place. He's gonna have to try and mass up what he can to break through this, but what is what does he do? The if he gets camels and bombards, I think his maybe his only hope with like a single or a pair of like onagers behind it, just to try and deal with the halves once he manages to pick off some of the bombards. Oh, the Betos, the Betos are actually doing alright here. They're going to be good against both halves and bombard cannons. They're just going to be fairly, you know, hard for type to afford at this point. You have to spam them out of the barracks. So he's actually going to go for a mix of champions and Betos because I think at this stage, this is all he can really do against this sort of comp. He might have needed to get onto this sort of comp a little bit earlier. A bit more friendly fire going down. But it's worthwhile considering Zayu's pushing that fast. He's not giving Type any time to recover here. He's going to be creeping further and further down the map. But bearing in mind, Zayu can just start... Camping resources on this south side, making it really uncomfortable for Type to keep gathering. It's like he's sort of can't get on the gold at his initial base. He's really relying on, you know, expansion gold on the south side of his map. He's about to get knocked off this part. Though it is starting to wear thin anyway. And cataphracts in the mix too. Villages being picked off and type about half the score of Zayu. Things are looking super rough for him. He's going for his um, farms now, but type hasn't even had to. Uh, Zayu hasn't even had to worry about farms yet. But he is going to start worrying about farms soon. He is getting an awful lot of wood in the bank. But 120 vills to only 60 it's rough for type because he's gonna have to rely on a good trade with Gabados against such a good number of bombards with castles to support them the skirmisher slowly chipping away at the villagers one health per year 
being lost there. Oh, there we go, he gets a kill. He gets a pay raise. Speaking of one health per year, a single cataphract trying to tear down this barracks. I mean, it could be a skirmisher trying to tear down a barracks, now that would really be one health per year type shit. A couple of Gratos. Gonna try to go for a Bombard Tower and feel them fall into the splash there. And now Cataphract's chasing them. So these guys, with their trample damage, just great if they can get on top of anything. Like an Im improved knight. I'm not sure how they actually stack up against uh, Paladins, to be honest. If someone that actually knows about AoE 2 could inform me, that'd be great. So you're going to be able to pick off the Onigas while also being able to stop the uh, Rado ball from overwhelming the Bombard cannons there. So Zayu, his own eco starting to blossom now. Type catching up in terms of score slightly now, but has the damage been done? GG, well played guys.